Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video about our new Bio Bidet toilet seat that we got at Home Depot HD 7000. This is for the elongated toilet. Uh, we were kind of worried about the whole toilet paper thing. Decided to go for the uh, bidet. So, uh, really easy to install. I'll show you really quick on the instructions here. It was basically just remove the old toilet seat. You install the included T on the water line, the existing water line. Install the mounting plate where the old with the two bolts that the old seat mounted to. Then the new seat kind of slides in and clicks in. You add the new water line that it comes with. And then you plug it into the wall. It was it was actually really easy. So here it is. Um, here's a look at the control panel. You've got several different washing options. Um, there's some drying options. There is a child function that reduces the pressure and temperature if a child is using it. There's the pulse, and then you've got adjustments in either water temperature or pressure, and also the position of the nozzle, and some energy saving options, uh, self-cleaning seat heater, and the water heater. So I'll show you real quick. Um, it does have a sensor in the seat right here. And if I put my hand there, you'll see these lights come on. And it'll think that I'm, hopefully, think that I'm sitting down. So there you go. You have to be sitting down. You can bypass the seat sensor, but you have to be sitting for it to function. I will push the nozzle cleaning option just to show you the nozzle. So this is the self-cleaning. It's going to come out. It's going to wipe itself down a couple times to, uh, with a water flush. So you can see the different couple different jets here. That's where the water would be coming straight up when it's functioning uh, when you're sitting on it using it. And then here is actually the dryer. Air comes out of this little door, flops open like a it's a little heated dryer. So it stays out so you can scrub it while you're cleaning the toilet. And then you just push it back, uh, push nozzle cleaning again, and it'll go back in and wipe itself down in case you uh, had a bunch of soap on it or cleaner on it. Installing, like I said, was super easy. It does plug in with the cord, but what I found is that the cord was a little short, so I had to uh, get a small extension cord, and I like this flatter, um, like 90 degree cord anyway. Come down here and I'll just show you real quick the T. That's the T. And then that's the new hose, stainless hose that comes in. And then uh, the extension cord. Super easy to, to install. So what I'm going to, do, going to do right now is I'm going to try to trick it into thinking that I'm sitting on it. It does have a self-close. Or slow close, I'm sorry. So that's nice. Let me see if I can get it to function. Here's a quick look at the user's guide. Kind of gives you some explanation of the buttons. I know I just went over that, but so what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, world orange juice container that I've cut out. I'm going to try to uh, trick it into thinking that I'm sitting on it by placing my leg on the seat here, and then I'm going to turn it on, and you can watch the nozzle. So I'm just going to push wash, and hopefully I don't get sprayed in the face. push the, the button again after you push wash, so it actually moves back and forth, kind of like an oscillating function. And then after about 30 seconds, I believe it uh, is going to just retract. After the wash, you would push dry. And you can hear the 
blower motor and it's got, it's got a heater in there and you can adjust the uh, temperature of the heat. And that runs for, I think, one minute. Oh, I'm sorry, three minutes. Three minutes. Now, it's not going to get you completely dry. You might need to have a little towel to kind of get the drips, um, the heavy drips, but it does pretty good. Anyway, if you're con super concerned about not being able to find toilet paper, this seems to be working out pretty well. Thanks for watching.